Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two easy questions for you. The first question is what is the name of the process of bacterial DNA being transferred from one bacterium to another by virus? And we can cross out answer E right away uh, because replication would be example of the vertical gene transfer from uh, mother cell to daughter cells uh, through binary fission and uh, we also can cross out answer D so this is example of uh, vertical gene transfer conjugation would be example so-called bacterial se uh, sex those uh, it's not very appropriate name to use when two bacteria would come into the uh, contact and may exchange uh, genetic material and we also can cross out this answer now we have uh, left two variants uh, answer A transformation answer B transduction usually students uh, mess up these two answers because they have the same beginning trans and very easy to mess up so uh, I want to offer you mnemonic techniques that I use and it also can help you on exam. For example, transduction. The second part of this word reminds me uh, duck. So duck is a bird. Birds can get viral diseases like uh, bird's flu. And for example, what transformation reminds me robots transformers and robots cannot get viral disease. So, now you know that uh, the correct answer would be transduction. Transduction is a uh, variant when uh, two bacteria or more can exchange uh, DNA information when one bacteria would be infected by uh, bacteriophage and that bacteriophage when would, uh, this cell would lease and many bacteriophages would be released into the environment and some of these bacteriophages along with the oven viral DNA may also include uh, some DNA of the host and when uh, such uh, bacteriophage would infect another bacterium sometimes it can be uh, different species uh, so uh, in some cases such um, bacteria may survive and can acquire this new uh, genetic information through crossing over and sometimes uh, this can be beneficial for example uh, if this fragment of the DNA would carry uh, some gene that uh, would give uh, bacteria resistance uh, for antibiotics and transformation would be just a variant when to bacteria may exchange genetic information when one bacteria would lease and release uh, its uh, DNA and the other bacteria can take this uh, DNA uh, and may use uh, some fragment of this DNA also to uh, insert uh, in the oven DNA. This is not a frequent process but because uh, we may have millions of uh, one type of bacteria millions and billions of other type of bacteria even with a small frequency sometimes uh, such things can happen and if it's going to be beneficial for this bacteria we would see that numbers of this bacteria would increase because once again this fragment of the DNA uh, may have a gene that would provide this uh, bacteria uh, resistance for antibiotics and of course uh, numbers of uh, such bacteria would increase and uh, such bacteria may prevail and other bacteria that doesn't have such gene may die so next question so as you see the correct answer would be transduction is uh, the way how uh, uh, viruses or specific uh, virus which we call bacteriophages can uh, 
transfer genetic information from one bacteria to another one. And next question, which type of RNA includes the anticodon and brings the amino acid to the site of protein synthesis? And we have here um, four or five variants. So first uh, variant is uh, messenger RNA. So imagine that this is messenger RNA. It has five prime end and three prime end. And messenger RNA always grows, as you remember, and DNA also from five prime end to three prime end. So this part would be beginning of the messenger RNA, and this uh, would be the end of the messenger RNA. And here we also would have uh, sites which we call codons and one codon of the messenger RNA consists of three nucleotides for example it can be guanine, uracil and adenine as you remember in messenger RNA zymine is substituted with uh, uracil or it can be cytosine, guanine and adenine and so on and of course, we have uh, also somewhere here small uh, ribosomal subunit. Here we have large ribosomal subunit. And we also need uh, RNA molecule, which we call uh, tRNA, that is going to bring uh, amino acid here. And it looks like this one and it has, uh, say, attached amino acid here and if this is going to be a codon of the, me uh, of the messenger RNA here we have um, anticodon of the tRNA and the sequence would be as follows so cytosine would be pair uh, with uh, guanine guanine would be pair with cytosine and adenine would be spare with uracil. And if we have on the messenger RNA 3 prime end here, and uh, our tRNA is uh, complementary to messenger RNA, so that means that uh, here we are going to have 5 prime end. If we stretch this tRNA along this uh, messenger RNA, we should have 5 prime end here and once again if we stretch it in this direction we should have 3 prime end here so we also have here 3 prime end of the tRNA but once again uh, all this useful information but uh, you have to know in order to answer our question that messenger RNA has codons and tRNAs has corresponding anticodons. So as you see, this is answer C. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.